all you cool cats and kittens. Welcome to the 2020 Tidehaven Sports Banquet. We're having to do it online due to COVID-19. I hope uh, you're at home safe. Um, look forward to seeing most of y'all back on June 8th for workouts. Uh, in the meantime, we're gonna do the best we can with this online video. Okay, this year for cross country, we had a very great season. Had a lot of good times and uh, enjoyed coaching all the kids that came out to run. For MVPs for cross country this year, the girls MVP will be Ariel Schneider and the boys is Dylan Long. Both of those are very hard workers and enjoyed coaching them and look forward to great things next year. From okay, this year's volleyball season was very successful. Uh, JV ended the year at 9-3 and three in district. Um, they worked hard, played well. The varsity went to playoffs for the first time in eight years. Very proud of them. Um, lost in the first round, but gave it their all. Our in volleyball MVP will be Cassidy Tabars. Okay, our 2020 football season. Uh, again, we had a successful season, finished second in the district, got us another gold ball. We were uh, crowned area champions, uh, fell a little short in round two. Uh, look forward to another great season this, uh, this fall. Uh, we had a number of all district selections. Uh, I'm gonna stream through them real quick. Uh, we had a, uh, the overall MVP went to Blake Garcia. Blake's one of the first quarterbacks I ever had that, uh, he was a couple yards short of leading the district in rushing yards and he was number one in passing. That's a, uh, quite a feat. Uh, and that's probably what earned him the votes to, to get uh, overall district MVP. We had first team running back Jose Martinez, wide receivers Mason Perales, unanimous, offensive line Chancery Ojas, unanimous, offensive line Kai Saha, unanimous, uh, second team offense running back Colin Sardinia, wide receiver Caden Henry, wide receiver Austin Smith, center Taylor Rickaway, offensive lineman Michael Coleman Longoria. First team all district defense. Defensive end Grant Von Gontard, unanimous. Defensive tackle Jerry Johnson. Inside linebacker Joey Kotcher, unanimous. Inside, I mean, uh, defensive back Alex Hernandez, unanimous. Second team defense. Defensive end Zach Pierce. Inside linebacker Jose Martinez. Outside linebacker Mason Perales. First, first team utility player was Ben Ruiz. Honorable mentions were Jordan Mejias, defensive back, Brody Rohan, outside linebacker, Keegan Creeley, offensive line, Tony Palomares, defensive tackle, and Joe Martinez at fullback. Uh, Joe's a uh, special kid for us. He was always around doing whatever we asked for him. Uh, when he originally decided to play fullback, I told him it was a position uh, where he would try to get in the game, and I would hold him back and say, full, get back, but we ended up letting him play the real deal. Now, from there, we have two All-State selections, uh, quarterback Blake Garcia and uh, wide receiver Mason Perales. Both were All-State selections. Uh, our future looks bright here. I expect us to have another uh, round of All-District and All-State -Select all selections like this this fall. And uh, depending on what kind of work we put in this summer, the sky's the limit for us. This year's football MVP is a kid who Rose from being a small, undersized player to being one of the best wide receivers in the state of Texas. Uh, this year's 2020 football MVP is Mason Perales. Boys powerlifting had a really good year this year. All these kids, man, they put in so many hours in the weight room, got so much stronger and everything. And um, our boys powerlifting MVP, got third at the region, is Jerry Johnson. Um, girls powerlifting, we had a really good year this year. Got second place at the regional meet for the fourth year in a row. We're the only team in this entire region that's medaled for four straight years. Um, we had 11 girls make it to the regional meet, and um, three girls won the region. Jahan Johnson, um, Carl Moreno, Desiree Vega, and um, our MVPs are Carl Moreno and Desiree Vega. What's up, Tiger fans? It's Coach Fagley. Um, I had the pleasure of coaching the uh, boys' basketball team this year. I just want to take a second to uh, thank my varsity basketball players uh, for all their hard work and uh, determination this year. Uh, Blake Garcia, Caden Henry, Ben Ruiz, Joe Martinez, Mason Perales, Austin Smith, Kylan Sardinia, um, Jose Martinez, and Jerry Johnson. Um, 
our record for the year was 10 and 14. I think that uh, we really hit our stride early in the year, and um, you know it was a big improvement from the year before. Our 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 biggest two, I guess, weeks of the year were the uh, tournament weeks. We placed first in the Oswell Tivoli tournament and came in second in the Brazos tournament. Um, it was a uh, it was a rough district year, but we were only two games away from the playoffs, which all things considered, uh, when you consider the other teams uh, that we were up against, the Van Vlecks, the Hitchcocks, uh, the East Bernard, they were no slouch. Um, uh, two games behind, you know, making the playoffs is a decent year. Um, expect better next year. I also want to take a second to thank my uh, coaching staff, Briggs Hawthorne, Samuel Murphy, and Doc Johnson. Those guys showed up every day and um, really put in the work, and I really appreciate it. Uh, I got some all-district picks. Uh, Kylan Sardinia was honorable mention. He led our team in threes. Uh, he made 41 three-pointers on the year. Mason Perales was second team all-district with 16 points per game and uh, three and a half steals per game. Austin Smith was first team all-district with 16.3 points per game, 12 rebounds, and 2.8 blocks per game. And he is also our most valuable player um, this year. Again, thank you guys. Hope you're safe and uh, see you soon. First off, I want to say thank you to Coach Short. I truly do appreciate you being there for me all the time. I also want to say thank you to Coach Collins. She and Coach York were my right hands during the period since I wasn't able to be there. I want to thank our parents. We couldn't do anything without you. We have a support system for our girls as compared to none. We thank you. Finally, I want to thank my wonderful husband and kids for just being amazing during everything. Highs and lows, you're always there. This year we started over, both our teams being extremely young. These girls worked hard. Every skill grew this year and will continue for the years to come. We didn't get the results we wanted, but the growth is undeniable. Like I told them, they'll do great things in the coming years, and I can't wait to see it. I thank you, seniors. I am sad to see you go. Always will I want one more game with you, but knowing you're going in to do awesome things in this world. For the rest of you, it's just the beginning. Your future is bright. This year, our MVP came in with a force. I was so excited to have her on our team, but didn't know just how much I would love having her. Our MVP constantly had a goal, pushing herself, hitting new heights, making mistakes, and turning them into successes. She was our leading scorer almost every game and was named Newcomer of the Year for our district for a reason. Her future is limitless. She was a leader from the classroom to the floor. I'm beyond proud to announce this year's basketball MVP is Mr. Han Johnson. Yeah, softball, we're off to a really good start this year. Unfortunately, had our season cut short due to the coronavirus, but um, had a really good senior class this year and we're looking forward to going a long ways in the playoffs and all that. Um, this year is really hard picking an MVP, especially with all the talent we had on our team, but um, we're going with Jennifer Sepulveda and Joey Filial. On behalf of the Tidehaven Athletic Bush Club, I would like to introduce the Tidehaven Boys Golf MVP, and his name is Jeff Calhoun. Uh, proud of Jeff this past couple of years, uh, one of the few boys that wanted to play golf. Uh, he's improved a lot, and I'm just proud of him, and congratulations, Jeff, on your award. Yes, uh, I would like to introduce the 2020 Tidehaven Girls Golf MVP, Ms. Kinsley Simons. Uh, Kinsley this past year, season participated in two golf tournaments. She won both of them, uh, shooting below 90 in both of them, which was, which was really a first for a Tidehaven girl athlete. And I'm proud that, to announce that Kinsley is going to be the 2020 Tidehaven Girls Golf MVP. We look for great things for her to happen in her junior and senior years. On behalf of the Tidehaven Athletic Booster Club, I would like to introduce the 2020 Girls Track MVP for the third straight year, Miss Taylor Young. Taylor, uh, during her career at Tidehaven, has been a district champion in the 100 meters, uh, been on district championship relay teams in the 4x1 and 4x2. She is a school record holder uh, in the 100 meters at 11.98. And there's no doubt in my mind, uh, Taylor would have gone to the state track meet if we'd been able to participate and run in more track meets this year. Also, there's no doubt in my mind that we would have gone in the four by 100 meter relay team 
We participated in three meets this past season. We were undefeated in all three. Uh, probably the most impressive race that Taylor did was at the Yoakum track meet when she came from way behind to beat Sweeney and Lavernia in the 4 by one and to win that uh, uh, title at the Yoakum track meet. Taylor, I'm proud of you. Uh, you've helped bring Tide Haven Girls track back on the map. Good luck in your future endeavors whether it's in track or college or both. If you ever need anything, please be, give me a call at any time. And I'm so proud of you, Taylor, and good luck. Okay, I'll be announcing the Girls Fighting Heart Award. Uh, we're gonna keep it in the family. This year's Female Fighting Heart Award recipient is Lily Kotcher. Uh, Fighting Heart, uh, like it is with the reason why me and Coach uh, Russell give this announcement is because we both won it in high school. Uh, it's a award that uh, both of us, uh, especially me, uh, take a lot of pride in. It's for a kid who uh, shows a lot of heart and uh, goes above and beyond. And uh, Lily does that in the fact that uh, she worked all year round for her game. And I felt like uh, it showed. She got everything she could out of, uh, out of the sport she played. And uh, I'm proud to announce that she's going to be joining the club. Here to announce the male T.J. Foster Fighting Heart Award. Uh, this kid is uh, the epitome of this. He worked his tail off for four years. He battled a lot, uh, a lot of injuries uh, throughout the four years and, uh, and brought it every single day. His uh, fighting with his spirit and his, his every day, what he brings to the table. Uh, like I said, it's the epitome of this award is Mr. Joey Kotcher. I will be announcing our top academic athlete. Uh, we'll go with the boys first. This award is given to the athlete that has the highest GPA amongst the senior, seniors. Uh, this year's winner is uh, Joey Kotcher. Uh, Joey's our valedictorian, so it was easy, pretty easy to, to figure out who the top boy was. And uh, this year's girl winner is also easy because she's our salutatorian. And that's Zoe Winkenwerder. Uh, goes to show how our athletes are taking care of business here when uh, we get a clean sweep of the, uh, the valedictorian and salutatorian. Congratulations to both of y'all. Now we'll be announcing our Booster Club scholarships. Our Booster Club, which is led by Wendy Saha, our president, and the rest of the board do a fantastic job. They work endless hours to build up the money so that we can provide this. And um, I know uh, I'm, I'm proud of the work they do. Uh, they do a lot of good for our, for our kids. Uh, a couple of parents, senior parents I wanted to give a shout out to were uh, Rose and John. Uh, we have a lot of parents that, that put in a lot for our booster club and for our kids, but uh, some of them go above and beyond. And John, John and Rose have, have done that since I've been here. Uh, they've uh, helped out with not only booster club type things, but other fundraisers we've had on the side. Uh, just about everybody in our community has tasted John's barbecue at some fundraiser or another, and I want to thank them. Another parent, senior parent that I wanted to thank was Sean Kotcher. Sean has been here uh, by my side helping us any way he can on our girls' side. And I know for one, I'm going to miss having him around as a parent, and um, I'm, I know my girls' program is definitely going to miss him. So hopefully he uh, goes and adopts another girl or, or something, So because we, we need to have him around for a few more years. Uh, now, um, we're going to go ahead and list all the recipients on the screen. Congratulations. Our uh, 2020 baseball season got off to a rough start. Um, things were starting to come um, together. Got some people healed up and then the pandemic hit and didn't get to finish it. I was looking forward to see what those kids could do um, in district and fight for another playoff berth, but it um, didn't happen. Um, I'd like to appreciate and give a shout out to my three seniors, Caden, Ben, and Joey. Appreciate y'all guys, all your hard work over the last four years. And um, you youngsters, looking forward to bright things in the future, working hard and getting after next year. And then uh, also I'd like to announce our uh, 2020 baseball MVP, uh, Mr. Joey Kotcher. He's one of the better catchers in the area and hit over 400 this year. Joey, appreciate your work these four years, man. You grind it, son. Hey, everybody. This is Coach Johnson representing Todd Haven Boys Track and Field. This year's track season started off strong, but was cut short due to unfortunate circumstances, and we look forward to picking up where we left off next season. 
I have the privilege of introducing the boys MVP. And that goes to Kylan Sardini. Kylan, congratulations, and hope to see everybody working hard next year. Now I'll be announcing the overall boys MVP. This year's uh, winner uh, played football for us, uh, basketball, and ran track. He was the overall district MVP in football. He was an all-state selection in football. He was a starter for the basketball team and uh, ran on just about every relay for our track. This year's winner is Blake Garcia. Now we'll be announcing the girls overall MVP. This uh, year's winner participated in volleyball, cross country, basketball, and track. Uh, we're very proud, uh, very proud of this young lady. She's gonna be throwing for uh, Division I UAB in the great state of Alabama. Uh, we look forward to hearing great things from her in the future. This year's winner is Zoe Winkenwerger. I wanted to thank our 2020 seniors one last time. It's been a great run, great group of kids. Uh, look forward to hearing great things about y'all. Everybody out there, have a safe summer. We'll see you this fall.